So, how do you wire up an electric vehicle? First, you need to get you a schematic, and hopefully you've got a little bit of knowledge of how to wire things up. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a brief overview of how I did this one. We're going to start out with a primary contactor. As you can see, I've got two wires on the side. One of them goes to the ignition switch, so that whenever I turn on the ignition switch, it closes this contactor. Also here, the top one is positive. The screen wire here goes to the positive side of the battery charger that charges the 96 volt system. I have this wire here runs to the either the voltmeter or the uh, state of charge. And this one is either the voltmeter state of charge, depends on which one, uh, how it's, the schematic tells you to wire it up. You come over here to the secondary contactor primary contactor and there's the wires over here uh, one of those runs to the pots pot box that's so that when you depress the accelerator this contactor closes the white wire here is the negative side of my 96 volt battery charger we have this wire here that runs through this fuse which ties in this green wire here that goes down here to the DC DC converter and you see I have wires here one of the wires that comes off of the pot box runs over to this as you can see I have several wires here tied together this right here is the uh, DC uh, my DC DC converter here which charges my 12 volt battery over here I have my inertia switch that is just a warning horn in case the motor overheats that's never happened you have other associated fuses, more fuses. Back here is the shunt. As you see, I have the wires hooked to it, running through another fuse. Those go to the amp meter. Here on the controller, you can see I have three wires here. Two of those wires come off of the pot box, which is this wire here. So. That's kind of a brief description on the, how the wires are run. You really need a schematic, but hopefully this helps.